I get pretty pale. Alright, okay. Yeah. First In what ways does your media product use, develop, or challenge forms and conventions of real media products? Our band is supposed to be indie rock, but we feel the song is not indie rock at all. It's much more like it's a, more technology. Yeah, but not like proper like. <laughs> but more like um, it's quite a dialed down version. Yeah, like so, it's not really. If you think indie rock, you know, it's not really either of them. Yeah. Like if you put the two together, it's more technology. Techno, yeah, techno, slightly like, electronic, robotic, and very sort of like. Um, yeah. <laughs> What's the other word? Electronic. That's yes. What I'm saying. I'll just use it. All right, and um, we saw a challenge. But for example, like our uh, lyrics and our visuals connect really way, like really well. Why do the visuals and the lyrics well, connect? Oh. Okay. Right, okay. Go on. Then. Yeah, the lyrics and visuals connect because like we got crazy. Um, running about with the you go your way and I'll go mine thing. Yeah. yeah. You go your <laughs> way and I'll go mine. <laughs> yeah, basically, when we say you go your way up, my I go mine. Uh, basically, the two characters bump into each other and then they're close. Yeah, so, thanks. Yeah, basically, you go your way, I go one way, Leah goes the other way. She goes her way. And then uh, uh, this is after we go bang, because then, then we change our attire, but also we use the conventions because conventionally <laughs> <laughs> of the kind of video the kind of song and the videos they usually have a story to some of the lyrics and so um, how effective is the combination of your main product and ancillary text? At first Craig thought it would be a good idea to put a uh, robot in our front cover. For again awesome. Yeah, because they explain why you want to put a robot. Yeah. Basically, because it's quite robotic and we didn't want a be or because some of the sort of amateur things that we have to do because we're not professionals and it doesn't look amazing and our on reflection after being showing shown other people's ones, it did look kind of tacky with like people's pictures on them and really effects. bad effects. And then it just really didn't look that good, and so I thought, as in our video, we haven't really used a band image to make it. We sort of like copied that onto the CD cover and partly the magazine ads. But for the CD cover, and because we just used a toy robot, because it helps it be, because obviously it's quite easy on the hair. And it's, it's easy on the right. And it's different to look at, you don't really see that sort of thing about. And you put like a sort of like robotic effect for the robot. <laughs> um, and so yeah, we went with that. And then we sort of when used a robot image onto the magazine ad at the same time. Which just connects. Yeah. yeah. Like a connection. Also, um, with, our, with our. Um, our magazine ad and our CD cover is it? Yeah. We um, use an image of two of the band members. It was me and Stephen, and then Stephen and Becca, who's not actually here today. So, hi Becca. Um, How are you? <laughs> um, but right. basically, it was a stop it. Um, it was a photo <laughs> looking up to them from the sun coming down. So you get their silhouettes and the sun like a really like high contrast on it. So yeah. they're really dark, but really deep blue sky as well. And we used um, an image on our CD cover, just you know, show the band, and um, on our magazine, and because it was like tour dates as well, so I just felt all over you. Yeah. Okay. And this sort of the similar effect is not only on the um, pictures of the band, but there's also there's this sort of theme of a dark, sort of sort of mysterious look, not like a fantasy sort of mysterious thing. But there is like a shaded look on the bottom. The font that matches as well. It's mm -hmm. all like. Yeah, it's all totally. Yeah, no problem. Kind of Where? stuff you can see with that. Alright, well. next question. Shapey. Woo! Next question! It's a day! Okay. <coughs> what have you learned from your audience feedback? We have learned a lot, to be honest. Like, <laughs> hey, um, what, what, what was the first part? Like, our first feedback of our rough cut was, you know, really more uh, filters because we just. Yeah, it, was, it, it was just, you know, just standard filters, just, you know, the colour, but we could have upped the co contrast of it or even made it black and white, but we, it wasn't really like a sort of black and white video camp. No. So we didn't really do much about it because we didn't know what we could do with fillers. Um, but then we learned to use more jump cuts, that's like in the final cut, yeah. um, which we used towards the end, which 
shows like sort of the chaos kind of dialect. Yeah. And um, it was quite weird to find out when some people said it was funny, because mm. obviously conventionally not many music mm. videos are funny. We did want to give we... it sort of a com comedy com aspect. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry Stephen, carry on. Yeah, uh, we decided to keep the comedy aspect because yeah. um, people liked it. So yeah. we decided to, we didn't have any lip syncing in our premium, preliminary thing as well. Premium. <laughs> so um, we kept it like that because people liked it. Don't tell me, tell camera. I'll tell you. They thought it fit well with the genre because yeah. Um, yeah. it's upbeat and stuff. Oh, so and they, story they love the edit of this whole, um, someone called it special effects, I don't really know why, when, when people, well, yeah, it's not, no, no, it's none, but when um, people <laughs> bumped into each other and their clothes changed, someone said that, I don't know who in our class, but they liked the edit, the fact, you know, you noticed there was a big yeah. sort of movement. It's quite, close it's, change. Well, I mean, I've never really seen something like that apart from yeah. the film Freaky Friday. I mean, we've even done um, <laughs> <laughs> we even done test shots of that, which you know will show. Ended now. up on the floor. Um, yeah, ended up on the floor. So, which was quite good, and you know, people enjoyed it as well. Yeah. 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 How, How do you use new media technologies in the construction and research and planning and evaluation stages? Literally mysterious. Um, we've, well, first of all, we use Blogger, which we've used in AS and stuff, which is sort of like a diary of what we've been doing, what we're going to do on our planning, that sort of stuff. That was our first thing. Blog. We used HD cameras. Yeah. yeah. Last year we went like we're to. using now. Yes. Mm -hmm. We were oh, to yeah. use HD last year, so it looked better this year. Yeah. Yeah. And then we had to use them. <laughs> we had to use still cameras as well for our digital storyboards and um, for our digipack as well. Yeah. Uh, which was useful. We also, quite weirdly, got to use the camera on the Mac because we were asked to make a picture for our group. Which is now gone now because yeah. it looks... Yeah. It, it was well pretty. pretty. Yeah, it was. Beautiful. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then um, we also we had to use technologies like Photoshop to help with our digipad to yeah. edit that and um, Final Cut, obviously, which is the yeah. main... which is the big... Shebang, big, the, It's the big... Wow factor. The, the key factor in like making key, this project like watching watch actually now. use it as well. Yeah, as well, like um that was to put our music video together. Mm -hmm. I do that we managed to use good fiddles. Yeah. 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 Check that out. Bam.